A Bluetooth speaker that's not ugly? Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and this time I want to look at the Archer wireless bamboo speaker. That's this guy. And as you can see, it's a pretty decent size. It's thick, and most importantly, it has a beautiful finish to it. This is actually a bamboo surface that they've um, put on it on the front and the back. And then the parts that aren't bamboo are actually covered with a nice fabric. So the whole thing has a really nice aesthetic. But of course, with any speaker, what's really important is the sound. So let's give it some music. And it's connected via Bluetooth off of my iPhone 7. So nothing special going on there. And if you can hear, there's a lot of bass. There's so much bass that depending on what you like, you might want to A, lift it off of your playing surface perhaps, or B, you might actually want to change your EQ settings to have it be a little more mid-range and high. Let me pause that. So in fact, actually one of my criticisms, and I know that my teen daughter wouldn't agree with me, but one of my criticisms is there's almost too much bass. There's so much down at the low end that you're not getting a lot of mid-range and high, but again, you can sort of fiddle with the equalization settings on your device to get different sound music. Now, it has two tweeters, they're five watt tweeters, and this woofer, they call it a subwoofer, I don't really think it's a subwoofer, I think it's just a woofer, has 15 watts, so it's considered a 25 watt speaker. And they have a little passive radiator hole in the back, so you're getting a little more bass coming out of the system too. Why not? Um, they refer to it as super bass, and I know that when I've read the comments online, people love the bass on this thing. So it is rather startling how much it's pushing out. It's running Bluetooth 4.0, and the battery's nice. It's a 5200 milliamp hour battery, which means that at 50% volume, that gives you 11 hours of play, which, if you do the math, means that if you have it at maybe 20 or 25% of its volume, and this thing gets pretty darn loud, then you probably got 20 or more hours of play. So that's really nice. Um, the only issue I have with this, other than the bass, is there's an issue of how you charge it. Because the speaker comes with a wire, and the wire you plug into the back, here's a close-up, and you can see there's a micro USB. So it comes with the micro USB wire, but it doesn't come with a little wall charger. So you end up using whatever wall charger you have, which ends up being a problem because it's really rated. They want you to use a 3.4 amp charger. And most likely you have like a one amp charger. What's the difference? The difference is it's gonna take a lot longer to charge. So if you can find a 3.4 amp charger or even a three amp charger, then you're gonna have better results with this, but it doesn't come in the box, FYI. Now, um, what else can I tell you is, I do like it. I really like the aesthetic in particular, and I really like the fact that this would fit in very attractively into an office setting or into a retail setting. If you have a store and you want to have something nice sitting on top of a shelf, it's a very attractive looking unit. And the controls are very straightforward. On the top you have power on and off, pause play, and then volume up and down and you got to be careful because if you push and hold either the plus or minus then it actually becomes next and previous track so it's sort of a overloaded buttons which you get the hang of it after a while and instead of holding it down to make it super loud you just tap it a bunch of times not a big deal first time you do that though you'll be like what whoa <laughs> and hey speaking of what and whoa can i ask you to go ahead and click on that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel Thank you. Awesome. Now, the only other topic of discussion with this Archer wireless bamboo speaker is the price tag. And it turns out that it is $69.99 at Amazon.com, which is a pretty darn good deal for something that has both, uh, has both really nice sound and the aesthetic that really the vast majority of Bluetooth speakers are desperately lacking. I mean, so much of what's out there for Bluetooth is just ugly, and this is really quite attractive. And the fact that it comes with nice sound makes it a real win in my book. Now, there is a funny thing. When you go on Amazon, I noticed it was shown as the number one bestseller in its category. 
Then I looked a little more closely and the category is ceiling and in-wall speakers. Now, it might just be me, but I don't see this as something I'm going to actually put in my ceiling or dig a hole for and have it in my wall. So that might be a little miscategorization, so don't be swayed by it being number one, but nonetheless, it's a pretty darn nice speaker. So this is the Archeer Wireless Bamboo Speaker. I say check it out. This is Dave Taylor, and I'll catch you in my next video.